This is the solution to written homework 72. Okay, since f is a quadratic, we know that f of x is expressible in the form a x minus h squared plus k. So the first piece of information is telling us uh, that h is 9 and k is negative 7. So we know that we have a x minus 9 squared mm, minus 7. So we know that f of x looks like that. So now to determine uh, a, so what about a? Well, this piece of information <coughs> we know that when you plug in 2, you're supposed to get 140. So f evaluated at 2 is 140. That's what this says. So as a result, if we take this, uh, this one, and plug in 2, we know that 140 should be a multiplied by 2 minus 9 squared and then minus 7. So that's plugging in 2. So 140 is equal to a multiplied, well, 2 minus 9 is negative 7 squared is 49, so that's 49, and then minus 7. So 147 is 49a, and if we divide both sides by 49, we get 3 is a. Therefore, <coughs> f of x is 3 multiplying by x minus 9 squared minus 7. Okay. So now, the second exercise is exactly the same as the first, except instead of writing the information out in language, I'll give you a picture. So the vertex in this case is negative 4 positive 6 and then we need any other point that is on the plot mm, so how about um, <clears throat> so that goes over to one yeah so then we also know that point there so that's negative 2, positive 4. So that's negative 2, positive 4. So according to the vertex, so we know that g of x is expressible as ax minus h squared and then plus k. And the vertex is that, so that is a x plus 4 squared and then plus 6. So that's <coughs> h and k. Okay. 
we also know that g evaluated at negative 2 is 4. That's this piece of information. So if we take that and plug in negative 2, we should get 4. So 4 is equal to a multiplied by negative 2 plus 4, square that, add 6. Well, negative 2 plus 4 is 2, squared is 4, so 4 is 4a plus 6. So negative 2 is 4a, so negative uh, half is a. And as a result, g of x is negative half, uh, x plus 4, all squared, and then at 6.